Uh, so, Sadaka, can you explain the boss for me again? Okay, sure. So... The only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. The original machine had a base plate of prefamulated amulite surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two spurving bearings were in a direct line with a panometric fam. The lineup consisted simply of six hydrocoptic marzal veins, so fitted to the ambifacient lunar wane shaft that side fumbling was effectively prevented. The main winding was of the normal lotus o deltoid type placed in panendermic semi boloid slots of the stator. Every seventh conductor being connected by a non reversible tremie pipe to the differential girdle. Okay, so which platform am I on? Whenever fluorescent score motion is required. It may also be employed in conjunction with a drawn reciprocation dingle arm to reduce sinusoidal deplenoration. The oh. retroencabulator has now reached a high level of development, and it's being successfully used 